Good morning guys, we're starting off the vlog today going to Dollar Tree because I don't think you can tell around me, but it's freaking snowing outside, or it snowed last night at least, and now everything is covered in snow, and these pumpkin decor and Halloween things that I have out right now, they're just not doing it for me, so I need to go to Dollar Tree and get some Christmas decor. The pumpkins need to go, but before we do that, I need to get some gas. so freaking cold out that was really annoying though the freaking nozzle got stuck and i was trying to like get it out at 20 dollars, and then the nozzle got stuck so i ended up having to go to 21.50 we are now going to dollar tree so see you there in a second all right guys i'm at dollar tree and you're about to be shook when you see my cart because i'm even shook looking at my cart like hopefully my mom doesn't watch this because if she does she's gonna text me and be like why the hell are you spending all your money on freaking christmas decorations seriously though look how much i got i started out with a hand basket and then quickly had to switch to a cart literally because i'm getting so much i mean some of this stuff i did actually need like i have some extension cords some paint brushes stuff like that so some of that i did need but a lot of this i don't i had a budget of 50 dollars coming in here and i feel like i'm gonna quickly go over that so i think i need to go through and bring it back a little bit because this is a lot I did find these white bins, which you guys, if you followed me for a while, you know that I got one of these like a long time ago when I still lived at my old house in Illinois. So I got one of these and then all of a sudden they were like out of stock everywhere because everybody was organizing their pantries with these and now they have them and they're in white because they always had them in like different colors, but they never had them in white and now they have a ton of them. So I'm like debating on if I want to get them or not. I just feel like... They're too small for what I'm needing. Okay, I ended up getting six of those white buckets, but I just found the jackpot of all Dollar Tree picture frames. I'm literally shook. I'm walking by and I see this, 11 by 14. This is huge for a Dollar Tree frame for a dollar. Like this is the size I originally wanted when I came and bought all of those smaller ones. So now I just got six of these and I'm I'm gonna find something to do with them and I'm probably gonna come back later and get more if hopefully they still have them but this is such a good deal checked out and i'm on my way home but do you understand how why i'm confused look at all these like orange pretty like fall trees and everything and then all of a sudden it's like winter again on those trees like i don't know i'm honestly just really confused with this weather let's see how my favorite houses look now with all the snow because they looked cute as ever when they were all decorated for fall oh my gosh so cute are these houses literally not the cutest even with snow and pumpkins oh my god dead okay i'm back home now and it's actually the next day but we're gonna pretend it's not and we're gonna pretend that i just didn't suck at vlogging yesterday and i am gonna go continue from where i left off in the last vlog because i literally still have the stuff sitting on the stairs let me show you I literally brought the stuff in from the garage and set it right here yesterday and I have not touched it since then. So I'm currently making Jackson some lunch. He is still sleeping, but I'm making him some chicken nuggets and fries and just cut up a pear. And then when he gets up, I will feed him and then go through a quick, oh my God, what are my hairs? God, you're kidding me. I thought the baby hairs were gone. But while he's eating, I will go through a really quick Dollar Tree haul with you guys because I spent... $63 on stuff yesterday, so we're gonna go through it really quick. But I did wanna show you guys, see this right here? I actually hung up some more decor yesterday, which I'm super excited about. And then I also put that one up because they were sitting in this box over here and I still have to go through all this. I started going through it today, so we're working on it. This needs to go up in our room now that our headboard is up, which I have yet to show you guys, but that needs to go up there too. But I started the process yesterday and I put that up there because originally before we moved in, and I, I bought that before we even moved in, I was going to put it on this wall right here, like above the table, but this wall is just so big. Like it doesn't look that big on camera, but like this wall is just so big and plain that like that little tiny sign would not look good right there. So I had to find a different place to put it and I think it fits, like it fits really nicely right there. I don't know if I like love the way it looks right there, but I, I do like from when like you're in the kitchen, you can like see let's eat and then the table's right there. So I don't know, we're working on it. It's all a work in progress. But I did, this is the only thing I brought up from yesterday. I got um, all these picture frames. You guys heard me like ranting about these at Dollar Tree 
because I'm so excited I found this size because this is the size that I got the last time I was there and this was the absolute biggest size they had and I'm gonna have to like go through and take out all these collages and everything so as you can see these are a lot bigger and I'm so happy I found these because I'm going to actually do a DIY project with these it's um something that I saw on her um, YouTube channel is called cheap on a chic and she is literally so freaking good at DIYs and she buys everything not not all of her videos but most of her videos are from um like dollar tree dollar general the target um dollar spot so stuff like that she does really cheap diys and i actually got this idea from her and then once christmas is over i can take them out and put in um what i was going to put into those smaller frames but like i said there's just a lot of stuff oh my gosh this is like fall oh my gosh happy thanksgiving oh my gosh i can put this up now Jeez, i need to go through this stuff i didn't even realize there's like Oh my gosh, yeah, I definitely need to go through these because I didn't even realize that I had like other stuff in here. Oh my gosh, okay, I need to go through that. All right, Jackson is awake from his nap and sitting here watching Chuggington while eating his lunch. Can you say hi? So I did a ton of organizing because Jackson was asleep for like three hours and I feel like I just like needed to do it and kept putting it off. And I was in the like extra organizing and cleaning mood today. So I organized our pantry. It's not really a pantry. Cause I got these um, bins from Dollar Tree as you guys saw. And then these are all of our cereals and everything. These are like loose snacks and everything that like don't really have like a place. They were all in boxes and like the boxes were just taking up so much room. So I put them all in here. Then we have all of our like cookies and crackers and everything up there. I went through all of the chips and threw out the ones that were like half empty or like just I wasn't going to eat. And then I also put all the Halloween candy and chocolate and stuff up there and then just some more chips. So I organized all of this and I think it looks so much neater. And I also organized the freezer. It doesn't look as organized, but I organized everything. So I have like all of our fries and like ravioli and stuff back there all of the meats behind here little corn dogs garlic bread ice cream pizza down here garlic bread and then all of our vegetables and stuff like that and waffles and then i also organized the bathroom in here again with these bins i put all of the cleaning supplies and sprays in here garbage bags and extra light bulbs in here and then cleaning rags and um parts for the vacuum in here. So let's do this haul really quick because I spent $63, which means I got 63 things and I don't wanna sit here and go through 63 things. So let's do this as quick as we possibly can. Okay, so the first thing, two things I got actually is this like wreath. They had these, um, they have like hard backs, which I really liked because then it's like sturdy and they had them in a bunch of different colors. So I got it in green and then I also got this bow, which they also had in a bunch of different colors. And I'm going to DIY this and I'm gonna put the bow like on here because I think that looks super cute. And then I got this little uh, kitchen towel, it's super cute, it says gingerbread and then it has like a little like recipe on it. I don't know if it's real or not, but I got my um, leaf one from Ballard Tree, so I figured I would get a Christmas one. And then I also got a bunch of paint brushes because I love, love, love Dollar Tree paint brushes. If you're looking for paint brushes, like for projects or anything, do not go to like Ace Hardware because I found one, like a pack like this, a pack of just two and then maybe one more. It was like $10 and a dollar and a dollar. So like just get them at the dollar store. They they work amazing. So the next things I got in this bag are gar packs of garland. These are 15 feet of garland. And I know that these are super, super thin, but it's something that can just like simply jazz something up like on the little entryway table. I got four of those. And then in this bag also, I got a cute little cookies for Santa plate. Next bag of stuff is all floral and everything. I'm not gonna take all of them out because it's all glittery and everything, but I got a bunch of these glittery red poinsettias because I love poinsettias at Christmas time. And then I also got these little like, I think, I don't know what these are called actually, Queen Anne's lace. I got these and they're white and glittery, so I got a bunch of those. And then I also got a ton of these, which I absolutely love because I love the pine cones and the berries. So all together, I think they're, it's gonna look so cute because you guys know I have the um, orange flowers and stuff everywhere. So I'm going to replace those with all of these once it's more Christmas time. This next bag of stuff is all like wall art and like that kind of stuff. So um, the first thing I got is this little, again, these all have like the hard backs like they do before or they did on those wreaths. So I got this one in a snowman and then this one in a Christmas tree. They also had a sleigh that said Merry Christmas and a boot that said Merry Christmas. 
but I didn't want to get anything super like Christmassy yet because like at least this snowman I can put out like it's just a snowman. I got this and this one and I actually like love these like this looks so like vintagey and like this does not look like dollar store material and then they also have this and they're both wood and oh my god I don't know I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go back and get more of these because I love them so much and like I'm gonna just hang these on or not hang them but like put them on the entryway table put them on the shelves we have in the living room I can even hang them on my little chicken wire um clipboard here so i love those and then going along with more wood signs i got this because i love how this looks like i just love this like fake wood and then i also got two more of these wood signs it says let it snow and ho 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 i thought these were adorable and they were there were only like two left of these so i just grabbed them up i got a matching little um i don't know what these are called oven mitt to go with the towel and then i got two more of these wood signs and i love them like i seriously think they just look like so old timey and like vintagey like the most wonderful time of the year oh my gosh i don't know i love it like i literally love how these look like they might look super like fake to you but like when i saw them i was like these are so like cute like i would spend like ten dollars on these at like a michael's or a hobby lobby and i got them at the dollar store so like that's a deal to me. Eat your food, baby. We're gonna go shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping and spend more money. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> the next things I got are four little, I don't know, boxes of these Christmas ornaments. This one is in a like shiny gold and then glittery white. This one is in all glittery gold. This one is in matte red. And then this one is in shiny red. And I got these because I'm going to put these in those like apothecary jars that I DIY'd. And I think these will look really cute like um, in our room if I like want to put them um, on like our TV stand, just like scatter them out a little bit. Hello? Hello. Okay, my mom called and then we started having a freaking conversation. And then going down to the last few things, um, I just got these like window clings because I just, I had actually a bunch picked out that I was gonna get, but they were all like super Christmassy and I kind of just want like the snowflakes for now. And then the last things I got are these gift bags and you're probably like, why the hell are you buying gift bags? So this is my DIY project with those picture frames. I'm not bringing those in the haul, but those picture frames I also got. So what I'm going to do, again, I got this DIY from that same girl, Cheap on a Chic. She bought picture frames and gift bags and then cuts them to the size of the picture frame and then she makes her own Christmas pictures. So I thought it was such a good idea. So I got two of these ones because they're like kind of matching, you know, they're very similar. So I got two of these ones and then I'm going to cut around and then put it into the picture frame. So I just made my own Christmas pictures. And then I also got three of these because I loved how this like old timey like Christmas Santa kind of looked. So I got this one and I got this one and I got this one so I love how these look but that is everything I got from Dollar Tree I guess it was pretty quick because I got a lot of the same things but I'm super happy with everything I got it was a lot of money but I feel like it's it's only just because this is the first year being in a new place and we don't we're starting from scratch on decor so next year I'm not gonna have to go and buy like all of these things next year I'm just going to kick them out of a box. What are you saying more about you got your chugging tin you got your food What more could you want? What? Huh? Huh? All right, well he's gonna finish eating and then we're actually going to go to Target Walmart and Kohl's So I'm getting some sheets some Christmas sheets and some flannel sheets and some pillows because that's what I spend my money on. <laughs> okay, so we just got done in TJ Maxx. I did not buy anything because it was freaking insane in there. There's so many people in there. We're getting in the car, going to Target literally right there. And look at this who parked next to me. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I have to get in that door to put Jackson in and I couldn't even freaking get in. I literally had to put him in through the door right here because they park so damn close to me. God, I literally hate winter. Oh, there's just so much freaking stuff, like jackets and boots and everything, and then I'm putting him in and out of the cart and his shoes keep coming off and like, oh, I'm just so irritated. Oh my God, and he took his shoes off already. Why are you doing that? Why are you taking your shoes off, Jackson? It's not. No, you leave your shoes on, it's cold out. I 
hate winter and yes, I'm not buckled because I'm going two seconds over there. All right, we are in Target now after my little meltdown there. I needed to put my hair up because it was static everywhere. Another thing I hate about winter, but we're in and I have already gotten like 20 things in the dollar spot because that's how they get you. So I already got a ton of stuff. I don't know how much this pillow is. It was kind of just sitting there. So I'm gonna get like a price checker thing and see how much that is. But I got this cute little pair of boots. I think they were $3. Got this Merry Christmas sign, again, $3. Got this little banner that I think I'm going to hang up of Jackson's bed, $3. And then I got two of these little $1 little paint things just for him to do. I got him a um, puzzle to play with because I think this was also $3. And then these were a dollar, so I just got a little Happy Holiday little window cling. And then this was only $5. So I got him this little thing to play with because when I babysit this one family, he always comes with and plays with something like this. So I got him something okay. like this to play with. But we need to stay on track, mister. We need to go to the Christmas stuff like we were supposed to, right? Yes. Say, mommy, stop looking at purses. So I'm now looking at blankets, which is probably the worst place I could be in in this store other than the Christmas decoration section. But all of their home decor stuff is 25% off this weekend. So I'm looking for a blanket, like a red blanket, because I'm in Christmas mode now. And I really want to get that one, but it's $25 and I'm not willing to spend $25 on a blanket right now. I was hoping to get one of these like $15 ones, but they don't have it in the color I want. And also, I don't know why I said we need to focus and go to the Christmas section. We did not come here for Christmas stuff. We came here for sheets. So I was very wrong when I said that. Don't know why I said that. This is what we came here for right here. Max wants these ones with like little Santas on the bikes, but I want these ones. And unfortunately, they actually don't have these in a king size, but they do have these in a king size. So I think we're gonna go with these. Yeah, you want them too? Yeah, you're pointing at them too, so you're my backup for daddy. All right, we have now entered the Christmas wonderland of Target, my favorite spot of Target in the wintertime, and this tree is so cute, and I wish it wasn't freaking $20. What are you saying more to? You just want to touch it? I wish it wasn't $20 because I would totally buy these for our room, but I could probably make a Dollar Tree one look like that and buy some lights and put it in our room because I'm all about DIYing, right? We don't need to spend $20 on that little thing. Oh, this is a cute, another little, like, cheap spot over here. I mean, it's not as cheap as, like, the dollar spot, but it's still pretty cheap. I'm actually looking for, like, a metal mailbox looking thing because I saw that, um, oh my god, what the heck? Why can't I think of anything right now? I'm just I like, see them. yeah, <gasps> what? You want that? I know, that is really cute. Um, Tiffany Beeston is what I was trying to say. She um, bought like a metal mailbox and I don't remember if she got it from Target or like TJ Maxx. No, I think it was from Target, but that's what I'm looking for and I have not had any luck finding it, but I really want to find one. I just came across this over here and I am obsessed with this. I seriously want to buy this or I want to con somebody in my family into buying it because that would be so cute to have like running around our Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, he would be obsessed with that. I don't have $35 to spend on that right now, but that is so cute. Maybe maybe if Max loves it enough and he thinks Jackson will love it enough, he'll buy it because that's kind of how he is. If he sees something and he's like, oh my god, Jackson will love it, he'll just buy it and that's kind of how I am too, but I'm buying a little bit too much right now, but... I think I might be able to get Max to buy that because that is so cute. You playing with your little letters to Santa thing? Yeah, you want to write letters to Santa? We can do that. These ornaments are super cute and everything, but like I would never spend $20 on that box of ornaments. Like that just doesn't seem right to me. And like as cool as these ornaments are, they're like $7. Like I, I just can't justify spending $7 on something. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, I just checked out. We got the jersey sheets, we got our Christmas sheets. I believe we got everything we needed. Look, look at me, look at me. Can you show everyone your little Target sticker? Yeah, you are the cutest. All right, I'm gonna put you in a car and then we're gonna put all the stuff in the car, okay? Okay, we're now in Kohl's and Jackson is just chilling so hard in the seat. Like, look at the way he is sitting right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are loving life. You are just hanging out. Oh my goodness, you look so comfy. But I am at Kohl's looking for king pillows because, sorry mom, I'm gonna use your Kohl's card and I'm going to buy some pillows. There they are, king pillows. I got two pillows and we are now checking out and going home, right? 
Ooh, you are so tired. I don't even know what to do for dinner. Depending on the time, maybe we will go to Pizza Hut for dinner. Because Max is working. And we decided to come to Pizza Hut. So we got a large stuffed crust because I freaking love the stuffed crust. Jackson eats the pizza and then I eat the crust. And then we also got fries because our fries are super, super good. How is it? <laughs> yummy. Yeah, it's just so yummy. Got your fries and your pizza. And then they brought out some animal crackers for him. <laughs> He's a yum. <laughs> yum. <laughs> yum. 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 <laughs> You're so cute. Max is out on a delivery and has been for like the whole time we've been here. So I don't know if we're even going to get to see him, but we'll see. And he's here. I literally stopped recording and then three seconds later he walks over. Oh, you've given, is Jackson, is Jackson, his daddy giving you the goods? I have no idea how much this is going to be. Me either. Good thing you're paying. <laughs> you need to kiss my mouth full of food. Oh yeah, I love you too. Yeah. Okay, we are home now. We've been home for a little while actually. And I've just been sitting here playing with Jackson, trying to get some energy out of him. He has been doing this hilarious new thing. When my dad came last weekend, he was going one, two, three, and pulling his legs out from under him on the couch. Because Jackson loves to just throw himself back. And now he counts by himself. Like he'll go, hmm, hmm, and throw himself back. And he's been sitting, yeah, he's been sitting here doing it. And it's so cute. Can you do it? Go one, two, three. Can you sit down? Go one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, you're nuts. You are nuts. You're nuts. <laughs> Do you see all those teeth up there? Oh my goodness. Look at all those teeth. Look at all those teeth. Wow. <laughs> hey Jackson, can you say I love you? I love you. I love you. He's been like starting to like try to say it. Say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, that was so good. Are you ready to go to bed in a minute? Yeah. Yeah. All right, he's all in his PJs and changed and everything. And I wanted to show you guys our new headboard because I'm seriously obsessed with it. Ignore all of that shit. I told Max to get all that out of here and he did not. But look how good it looks. Oh my god, I seriously am obsessed with it. So me and my dad built this and the Max stained it. You guys saw it in the garage. It looks so good up here though. Like I can't even handle it. Obviously same wood, same stain. And then I got these lights from Target. I don't know if I love how they're like draped like that. So let me know down below if you think I should drape it like that or if you think I should just like put it like this. Like along the top and along the sides if that makes any sort of sense and then i also wanted to show you i organized the closet today this is a box full of like artwork not artwork but like stuff that was hung up in my room back in illinois and then um you guys remember my chandelier back from my old room so yeah i organized all of this up here put all of my sweatshirts up here because they took way too much room up over here and then organized all of my clothes. This is kind of just like random stuff. That's a mannequin head from when I was practicing lashes, by the way. I know it looks really weird. Look at the bump today, by the way, guys. I don't know if you can even really see it. Oh yeah, this is definitely a better angle. Yeah, as you can see, I got a food baby and a baby baby in there. Lay down. Okay, he hit his head, but I just played with him for a minute and you're okay. You're fine, baby. Can you wave goodnight? Wave. Oh, good job, baby. I love you so much. Okay, I had to set up my big ass tripod for this because I left my other one in the car. But now that Jackson is asleep, I want to show you guys a quick Target haul because as you can see, like I got I got some stuff, but not enough to make like a whole video based on it. So let's just go through what I got really quick. First thing is actually what I went there for, and I got these sheets. They're just like flannel. Um, it's like their flannel holiday collection and it's just red and white striped sheets and then the next thing I also 
um, went there looking for. I went there for both sets of sheets, but I got um, the jersey sheets because this is what we've been wanting for forever and I finally found them and they were on um, sale 25% off. Then um, from Kohl's, so I guess it's in Target, but from Kohl's I got two of these big uh, king pillows and they were $8 and then I also did like, a little scratch off thing and I got 15% off so I spent like $14 on two king pillows and then the rest of the stuff is from the Target little dollar spot thing which I showed you guys earlier when I was at Target so I'm not gonna go through it again but that was my little Target slash Kohl's haul that's what I got tonight when I went shopping with him now any moms can you please comment below and let me know if you think that I should keep these as like a Christmas present or if I should just give it to him now to play with I'm really having a hard time deciding if I want to keep things for him for Christmas or if I want to give it to him now because I just went to TJ Maxx the other day and bought him like a little remote control car and this like steering wheel that like vibrates and lights up and talks and stuff so like I just bought him two things and then gave him both of them and like he doesn't even really play with them because he has so many other toys but like for some reason in my mind I was like oh my god he would have so much fun with these I should have just kept them for Christmas and now I feel like a terrible mom if I already showed him like it's sitting right here like I got him this little car's steering wheel and it was like $15 or something so I don't know I thought he would really like this and he hasn't like touched it because I think it scares him it's so loud I'm not gonna turn on because it's really loud but I feel like I should have just saved it for Christmas but now I would feel terrible if I literally wrapped that up and gave it to him for Christmas because he already opened it and saw it once not that he remembers it but do you know what I'm saying like I just feel terrible it's just like wrapping up a present I've already given him once like I don't know I just feel really bad about that so moms let me know below what you guys would do if you were me would you wrap that back up and give it to him for Christmas like take it away now and wrap it up and give it to him for Christmas or let him have it should I give him these little things from Target now like I don't know what to do how do you guys do Christmas presents because I really don't know like this is kind of the first Christmas we've actually had to like like plan out what to buy him because last Christmas he was five months old so he really didn't like need anything so let me know let me know how you guys do Christmas with a toddler I'm so tired so I am going to end the vlog here for tonight Max is not home from work yet don't know when he's gonna be home and I don't really want to wait for him to end the vlog so I'm going to end it by myself so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below leave us any comments or questions you may have because we love hearing from you thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video bye guys Thank you.